Hi Aquarius, I will be doing an intuitive six card spread for you for the month of January. Okay, so first from the top left, we have the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is really quite a mysterious card. I feel as though it's a card of prophecy here. So something is going to take, uh, some turn of events this month will take form in a very, very big way, but they haven't revealed themselves to you yet because the High Priestess is someone that holds things within, someone that is almost a seer, someone that is very in touch with the divine and uh, your prophecy, your future, etc., this could relate to you perhaps getting involved in the esoteric arts. It could be uh, things like you watching this video. It could be things that you're partaking in, uh, buying crystals, putting natural spells together. If, if you're into those sorts of things, this could be very heightened this month for you. This could also indicate some sort of news that's coming to you. Now, it could be in your, just in all aspects of your life. It could be love. It could be work. I feel as though something will spring up on you this month and it could very well have to do with a court case you've been waiting for. It could have to do with um, a travel, a visa of some sort. It could be yours. It could be someone significant around you. It could also have to do with a pregnancy or perhaps a father figure or a partner of some sort. Now, so I feel as though you, you might be walking on eggshells, you know, you're sort of unsure about what it is that's happening. You, you're waiting on some sort of results, some sort of news, and I feel as though that is coming. That is definitely coming. This could also signify that you're getting more in touch with your spiritual side. So doing things like meditation, yoga, getting involved in affirmations, Law of Attraction, etc. It certainly could be that that's coming through. If it's not one of those other things I've mentioned uh, just before. But moving on, we have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is quite a strong, domineering energy that's around you. It could be you or it could be someone around you. And it could be a father figure. It could be a partner. This is someone that's quite life experienced. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone who's old or older. It could just indicate someone that's... Uh, lived quite a fulfilling life and has experienced hardships, love, enlightenment on some level. And I feel as though this appears to be coming through as, as either a father figure, a brother or a lover. And I feel as though this person, you are uniting with this person around this time. This person could be the one that's going through some sort of court case, uh, is perhaps leaving on a business trip of some kind. But I feel as though this person is and will communicate something to you that may come as a surprise. I feel as though they're weighing heavily down on you. And I'm not sure in what aspect. I don't feel as though it's in a bad way. But I feel it's someone that's going to be quite strict with you. Quite strict in what, what it is that you want to do. What it is that you want to achieve. What it is that you're thinking about doing. Because this person will sort of override this whatever this is going on for you at, the, at this point in time. It could be a boss, most certainly could be a boss if this is in your work uh, and professional career. It could be this boss figure that's coming through and is quite domineering, adamant, assertive. And he, he might disappoint you in some way. Uh, and it might not necessarily be disappointment. He might also bring you some sort of offer to do something and it could see you traveling later on in the year that's certainly possible but this could also indicate some sort of court case which is indicated by the justice card because the high priestess and the justice card are bringing up some sort of notion of a court case something you've been awaiting for perhaps a green card immigration it could be news of that and I feel as though you will be victorious Aquarius if that's the case if that's what what it is you're waiting for so just be careful if it is a boss uh, make sure he doesn't override you too much. As I mentioned before, it could be a potential love partner also that's sort of domineering and dominating you in a way uh, that will be quite prominent. So that's one to watch. But also, it's it's 
because I'm seeing the Emperor right next to the Empress here, this, this does emphasize a strong bond of love. This could be something coming to light about you or your partner. This could also signify that you and your partner become pregnant this month. And if that's the case, congratulations, because it might be unexpected. It might not be planned with the High Priestess. So the Empress is this beautiful energy of lushness, abundance, prosperity, fertility, sexuality, intimacy. She's very fecund. She's productive. This could be in work or love. Again, I'm seeing the Emperor and the Empress are sitting there together. You could have an unexpected uh, secret admirer come forth around uh, if this is regarding your work situation and love. Uh, this could just be that you and your partner just have this beautiful union this month. You're feeling very in tune with each other, but this could also signify something comes to light, something that's been hidden before with the High Priestess. But I feel as though, for the most part, it's really, really good and this needs to happen. But also with the Empress, if this is regarding work situations, I feel as though you will have a lot of ideas because you also have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords comes through to me quite strongly as a Gemini. So you might have a lot of Gemini in your chart, but in general, this is an air sign. For those that wish to read it like that, it most certainly is at Swords. And this is the Queen of Swords, so you are in your element here. And the Empress is someone that produces tangible results. And that's why I say fertility is something coming in your physical realm, a court case, travels, um, a baby. Because the Empress is someone that brings us something in our physical, tangible realm. And also with the Queen of Swords, you're very in your element this, uh, this month, Aquarius. You have things sorted and there's a prophecy. Something's coming through for you with the High Priestess. Such a beautiful card. Very strong energies regarding with this card also. But back to the Empress. The Empress sees you being very productive at work. You'll generate a lot of ideas. If there's any ideas you've been thinking about putting together, you need to take the practical steps to do those to do uh, these, achieve these goals, do these, uh, do these tasks, because we also have the justice card, which can indicate you going by and achieving all the legalities you need to to help this process happen faster. If you're committing to a creative pursuit of some kind, copyright, publishing, law, contract settlements, that will be done this month. That's looking to be very, uh, very fruitful for you. But to the Queen of Swords. This indicates you are in your element, you've got your head screwed on, you know what it is that you want, you're in a beautiful mental state, something might come and shock you with the High Priestess again, and it could be that you go out and seek new horizons. This could be news of some sort also, and as I said, it could relate to some sort of pregnancy, something regarding the job, but potential to travel overseas, something regarding a court case or settlement, some sort of legality. But the Queen of Swords really is someone who's just liberated, she's free, she's got a beautiful energy about her. And this is you, Aquarius, I really see it as you are just in your element, you're shining a lot. And it will be prophesized, that's what I have to say to you. But the Queen of Swords is someone who's also looking at the Eight of Cups, so something is missing here. You are lacking something, there's a bit of limitation, there's a bit of lack, and I'm wondering what it is, if you need to go out and search for it with the Eight of Cups, do so because this is the time to do that. There's anxiety over something. There's something that hasn't come to a completion yet that needs to and it will be definitely towards the end of January. But it also might involve you taking the initiative and taking that first step because here you are, you have everything lined up but something's missing, you have to go. You've got the moon here, that's creativity, that's anxiety. Because when we think of the moon, we think of all the lunar tides and uh, personification of the moon and deities. That's also quite strong. You could be very spiritual around this time. Intuition also, that's coming through quite strongly. In your love situation, this could also indicate, as much as it is a news of a pregnancy, um, it could also indicate there's something missing towards this pregnancy. It, it could potentially uh, allude to some sort of a miscarriage, perhaps, or news of a miscarriage. Something that sees you getting upset and seeking different avenues. It could be that you're trying to conceive and you can't, so you resort to other options with IVF, perhaps. You're you're resorting to other, other options here, and that's not to say I'm predicting anything here for you. I'm just reading as the cards 
allow me to read them and this is what I'm seeing as much as there is good in this reading there's also bad just like in every other reading you have to take the good with the bad but it's uh, it's just a warning tarot really is about just warning you and setting you up and giving you insights to how you can potentially perhaps change your situation or better your situation but if this is regarding work then I feel as though you might be traveling for work you might be made this offer or you might be thinking about traveling and not just for work. This could be in your personal life as well. If that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do because you have the moon here. And it's in your prophecy. You have to travel. You have to do whatever it is you have to do. The moon is its calling you for a reason. This anxiety, this creativity, this intuition. So travel will, I feel, do you good. You might have to travel overseas for a court case. Perhaps it's a relative even that's having this court case done and you're involved in some way or you're there for support because the queen of swords is she has the mental capacity you might have the mental support you might even be a lawyer and you have to travel overseas to help someone out and it's quite a, a court case that may hit close to home for some people what else do we see with the eight of cups this is abundance abundance could be coming to you this could be funds something in your physical realm and it's not necessarily monetary it could be as i said children ideas productivity of some sort resources unexpected resources again this could come in the form of a will or an inheritance of some kind that perhaps is coming to you in january or the first part of the year because justice card is here this is legalities will settlements arrangements contracts it's balanced it's even you might be a lawyer and you might be making these contracts. You might be involved in a contract. You might have to travel overseas for some sort of contract, Aquarius. But I feel as though you will be seeing rewards. You will be, if it's not an inheritance, then you're certainly receiving something, some sort of karmic uh, prophecy, if you will, that will be coming to you, that will be coming true for you, most definitely. Also, I would advise, especially with the High Priestess, this could be that you are being watched. So it could be that you're partaking in something that's taboo. It could be the company you work for. They may be audited of some kind, an audit. They may be reviewed unexpectedly. Raids, unexpected raids. It could be affiliated with a boss. Because the High Priestess really is everything and anything. It's... It's destiny but in such a mysterious way and you'll see the results in January and you'll I'll feel as though you'll be looking back in January or even in February going wow okay that was a big month a lot did happen so I would advise you just to take caution this could be police watching you as well this could indicate minor things also if you're not if you have nothing to do with a court case or being a lawyer or settlements of any kind this could result in some sort of issue for a fine, perhaps of parking, uh, loitering, you know, jaywalking. I'm not really sure about the specifics, but it could very well be issuing a fine, some sort of travel insurance also. It could be something like that of that nature also. So what I, I would advise you to just protect yourself as much as you can with all the legalities. You will have the resources available to you. You've got your head screwed on. You know what you need to do. You know who you need to register with. So go ahead and do that. But I'm interested what this prophecy will bring you with the High Priestess here. What's the nature of this news, this, this destined uh, prophecy that the High Priestess will bring to you? What is associated with this for you? Okay, so we have luck. So you have the Priestess of Luck on your side in January. As I, again... It's funny that luck comes up. You'll be lucky in something, a court case, a travel, a trip, an idea. There's luck surrounding you here, so stay positive. There's luck surrounding this this prophecy here, which is beautiful to get. That's optimistic. At least we know it's, it's a good thing that's coming. The priestess of luck here. You'll be lucky in whatever it is that you're searching for with the eight of cups here. Whatever quest you're going on, whatever you need to achieve, whatever you need to research or implement, you'll be very lucky in that sense. And we'll have a look and see what's going on in your love situation. If this really is a pregnancy or a, a milestone. Or perhaps you meet someone. You've got the emperor and the empress. This is fated. This is 
prophetic this is this is meant to be let's have a look at this couple if you're single or you're in a relationship this is a very strong beautiful union so we have the priestess of inspiration and here she has may 13th to june 9th that's strong air energy as well it's close to the um the gemini months so we have inspiration. You'll be inspired with each other. Inspired thought, as I said, you could be trying to get pregnant. You resort to other avenues, but you will be inspired in some way. You could get pregnant. You could go traveling together. You could just meet this person and inspire you in such an amazing way. And you could be going undergoing contracts with each other, traveling with each other. That's certainly possible. But you will inspire each other. That's beautiful. It's very positive to get Aquarius. I wish you the best of luck.